Okay, like we talked about in that first clip, we always have to start with posture first. So I'm going to go back to that basic posture. I'm mounted, my feet are connected in that prayer feet position. I'm low, my hips are connected, my hands are out at 45 degrees on both sides, and I'm looking for maximum surface area. I'm using my shoulder, I'm using my body as Brian goes side to side. I just shift my weight from one side to the other, and it's difficult for him to make space. I'm not even attacking the neck yet, and it's still difficult for him to make space. And in that kind of environment, he's going to want to create space, right? So he, the first one we're going to deal with is he's going to go to push me straight up. And as he pushes me straight up, nice and relaxed, I'm going to relax and swim my hands inside. He goes to push straight up. I'm going to make him carry my weight, right? So go back. What I don't want to do is I don't want to accommodate him. So I'm here, I feel his hands on my body, and I lift up and try and grab. He's going to pull his arms back, he's going to turn on his side, and all the escape stuff starts happening, right? I want to stay connected to him. So as he pushes, I relax, I make him hold me up. And as long as he feels that he, if he were to release his hands, I'd fall down on him. As long as he feels that, go back. He's going to keep his hands there. And then I can swim nice and relaxed. And I'm going one hand at a time because I don't want my arms to get trapped. Okay, so there's one out here always on the mat, Casey Bridges. And I go, he pushes straight up. Good, right? Now, if you go back, like I was talking about in that other video, um, as a jiu-jitsu archaeologist, I'm mining the really old material. You're going to see Hori and Gracie teach this exact same move in the very first Gracie jiu-jitsu videos put out there. And a lot of people skipped over it or ignored it because at a certain point in jiu-jitsu, we all start doing the elbow escape and the upa. And you know not to push on the chest because you're going to give away an arm bar. But we'll talk about this as we go. But even with world-class, the best black belts in the world, you're going to see when they start to get in trouble with each other, they start to push and shove on the torso and on the body. Let's also say, if you ever get in a fight with somebody that's not also a jiu-jitsu player, you take them out, this is what they're going to do. 